Today marks the sixth anniversary of the massacre at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. 20 children and six adults were murdered. It was an especially tough day there today since the school had to be evacuated this morning after receiving a bomb threat. Officials later said it was not credible, but children were sent home out of caution and out of sensitivity for the anniversary. This week, the Hartford Current newspaper published a report about more than 1,000 documents related to the killings and to the killer, Adam Lanza. The story paints an even more chilling picture than we knew, a rigid and angry individual struggling with loneliness, disdain for others, and multiple psychiatric problems. Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter Josh Kovner wrote some of the Current's coverage, and he joins us now. Josh, thank you very, very much for being here. Uh, this report that you have put out is just a, a harrowing read detailing the extent of, of, the, of the troubled mind of this killer. Can you just give us a snapshot of the things that you found? There was a, a sense of a, a greater, deeper extent of his obsession uh, and compulsive disorder, his uh, uh, crippling um, problems that he noted just living every day, his um, meticulous and 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 fasc his fascination with uh, mass murder and and uh, gunplay, uh, a, uh, a very detailed uh, spreadsheet that he that he put together. We hadn't seen that before. Um, his feeling, his ambivalent sexuality, his feeling about pedophilia, he had a soft spot for that. His feeling that if a doctor touched him during a physical, it was tantamount to rape. Uh, the, the expression of, of surprise and, 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 and concern from a psychiatrist who uh, interviewed him when he was 14, uh, the, the, the psychiatrist seemed to be saying, what are you doing being... Uh, homebound uh, instruct with homebound instruction. You're not in school. This is a catastrophe for you. You, you need to be in the mainstream. Uh, and Adam was uh, his remarks, as as captured in that report, were were as you said, rigid, robotic. Uh, he was asked about friends. He said, "What culture are you talking about? Uh, what 14 year old would would say that?" Um, he he said outright that he had. Uh, scorn for humanity. He had no use for uh, uh, relationships. Uh, he hated fat people. So it was the extent of the darkness and the, and the dark world view. It really is the whole thing, a harrowing chronicle that you've reported. Uh, after these kinds of tragedies, we as a society always look for the red flags that could have been missed. What, what, what people might have noticed to say, you know what, this really is a danger. This person really is a potential danger. And I think it's important to say, too, that we also know that many people who suffer from mental illness, the vast majority of them never will become violent. But in the case of Absolutely. this young man, were there warning signs looking back now that, that could have tipped people off to what was coming? Well, th some of the signs could have tipped people off to and motivated them to get him more help, maybe an inpatient situation coupled by uh, uh, meaningful outpatient. And things have grown up in the uh, in the mental health fields since in the last six years. Peer advocacy, people helping people who've been through it, uh, trauma-informed therapy. They used to tiptoe around trauma. Now they confront it uh, directly. <clears throat> if he had any trauma from the divorce, of his uh, parents, or some of these things could have been addressed, but through no fault of anyone's own, schools, counselors, parents, psychiatrists operate in silos, and one doesn't always talk with the other. And he existed between them, among them, and uh, nobody nailed the whole picture. And maybe that's impossible, but uh, that could be something to uh, uh, aspire to, is better communication among good intentioned, uh, Smart people were trying to help youngsters. Uh, everyone has to communicate. Some in the Newtown community, as you know, are distressed that you guys put out this report in the way that you did and when you did. And I know you and your colleagues talked a lot about this and thought about this long and hard. Can you explain why you felt this was important to do? Uh, Hopefully, there's some recognition and prevention aspects of this. Uh, once you get beyond that emotional core, and I, I, my heart goes out to those parents, they've uh, 
you, you know, they've been very brave. They've done a lot of good things, uh, brought a lot of value to that, added value to that community and to the gun debate. And, and uh, uh, but once you get beyond uh, uh, and start to reach out to the wider audience, there was some fairly positive feedback about uh, uh, providing some kind of a, a roadmap for uh, perhaps to prevent the next Adam Lanza. You know, hopefully uh, we're, we've created a body of knowledge about this shooter and uh, the next one won't, uh, won't come up the same way he did. All right, Josh Kovner of the Hartford Current, thank you very much. You're more than welcome.